Part number four. How to import manpower from Excel to Primavera. After we prepare the manpower loading sheet, we will going to import it to Primavera. Let's see how to do this. This is our project. Now we need to add the manpower to this project. So I'm going to the construction or substructure. For example, before we add the resources to the activity, we need to add the resource and define it first. So from the enterprise, I'll select the resources. We have here only one resource, which is our cost loading resource. I need to add more resources at the manpower. And from the Excel sheet, I'll copy the resource. Let's call it Mason. This Mason. And in the resource name, call it Mason Planning. Just to not get confused if there is any another Mason in our project. Then I'll click next. I'll select the labor option then next and I'll be sure that the price per unit is zero because if I uh, change this zero to any value this will going to uh, modify my project budget so just I'll be sure this one then I click finish this Mason I'll add another resource For example, let's take another resource, worker painter. Going to the Primavera, carpenter here, and the resource name, carpenter planning. Then next, it is labor. The price per unit is zero. Then finish. This I can modify the level of this two. So let's go for these two resources and let's see how we can identify the activities with these resources. I just need to add another resource which is a labor or helper. Call it helper. Add another resource, helper, helper planning, because this is a shared resource in all my activities. Okay, now I'm going to the activities and let's see. I want to hide everything except the resources I have selected I have here Mason Carpenter and labor or helper just minimize this one little bit in order to see all the of them okay now I need to start adding the budget units for the labors here. First activity I have is the excavation. I have here labor and helper. So I'll go to the excavation and from resource from resource tab I'll click add resource then click helper. And I need to change the budget units to the budget units I have here. So I can simply right click copy the helper and then go to the budget units and type control V. Then enter.
this is the first resource assignment I have made then I need another activities I choose another activities which has a carpenter this is BC concrete for footing so BC concrete for footing I'll add another resource which is the carpenter then okay I'll get the budget quantity from here copy and I'll paste it in the Primavera then I need another activity with the resource of Mason this is slab on grade so I'll copy the quantity then I will go to the slab on grade I will assign add resource for Mason then Control V I'll paste the quantity okay now I added one resource for each type I want to populate in my promover now let's if I continue doing this it is very long procedures to take activity by activity and start adding the resources on it so what I'm going to do I'm just going from file then export I'll choose spreadsheet then click next then I'll select the resource assignments then I click next I'll select my project and from here modify the layout this is very important to have the resource ID then I need the budget units I remove the finish and the start then ok next and I will choose where to save it I'll save it here then next and finish now I exported the resource assignment and I assigned already the three resources I need so I have the resource ID let's see what we can do with this this is a file I just exported I have here the resource assignment material for all the activities which is related to the cost now here is the three resources I just assigned helper carpenter mason and this is the budget quantity there is a general rule in the import and export from Primavera whatever has a star like this it cannot be modified something which has a star like this cannot be modified anything without a star can be modified okay so now what I'm going to do first I need to have the helper so I'm going to the Excel sheet and I'm going to apply the filter in all my sheets columns and rows to cover column and rows and from data I remove the filter and then I assign it again and from here I'll make a simple filter filter by color I'll choose this color this is the activity color and from here I'll remove the plank so what I have here I have here the activity ID of the activities which has a, a labor or a helper assigned to it what I need to do now I need to go to my file and do 
new line something like this one already number 10 activity number 10 which has helper and this is the quantity of the helper already we made it by from primavera so after the 10 i have here 20 30 up to 70 just i'll copy them then i'll go to my sheet with special one two three then while i'm here i'm going to take this to column and make the comma next and I'll make it text finish just to match the others and I'll copy the same status here and this is the resource name one two three and this is the resource type this is labor and this is the unit price so I'll give it, oh, sorry, zero. I'll copy one, two, three, all zero. And here is the quantities. So 20, starting from 20, this is my quantity. I'll copy, go to here, paste it value. It is duplicated because it's merged cell in Excel. It doesn't matter, so just delete this one and i'm going to change this one to the format excel can uh, Bromovera can understand then here for text and finish and i will save this file i will close it then from the Primavera file import i'll choose spreadsheet and i will look for my sheet i just saved now This is a resource, sorry, just double check that I selected the proper sheet. It's resource assignment. Then next, it will tell me that only resource assignment is available. I'll click the next, it will ask me about my project name. Then click, then finish and the import was successful let's see what happened now let's go to activity number 20 for example you will find here that the helper already populated and here is the budget units 440 which is 440 here let's go to another activity 30 you will find that the helper is here and here is the budget units for the helper so this is very very time saving method to import and export the budget units and you need to repeat this step for each resource you have so let's repeat the same thing for we choose this one labor and the helper so we repeat it for carpenter so from here we we'll remove this dash and zero and blank and this is we want to populate this activity ID with the carpenter so once I didn't change anything I'm going to my and I will repeat the same steps here okay this is activity ID 30 already we should be populated because this is the first activity so 30 already populated by helper I'm looking again it is by carpenter so now we are going to add the carpenter carpenter already done for activity number 30 so I'm going to use 40 50 60 70 and paste them here one two three and don't forget to use this important step tickets to column and choose here comma the next and text finish and I'm going to copy the carpenter
now I am ready to add the quantities here is the quantities for the carpenter I just copy and paste special value just I'll delete this row this columns and I remove I'll convert it into text which is the for form or the format the Excel can understand then I'll save it I'll close this file and from Primavera file import spreadsheet click next I'll select my file where I saved it click next and check the resource assignment and select my project from here and finish and the import was successful let's see what happened now go to activity 40 this is activity 40 we will see that the carpenter resource already added and here is the budget units 150 which is matching with 100 uh, sorry 105 yes matching with 105 here column next activity number 50 if we checked it we'll find that the carpenter already added and the budget units same as we calculated from here so this is very simple steps and you will not find this method very popular however it is very very useful to save your time so I hope you enjoyed this uh, little trick and it will help you making your uh, work faster and more professional thank you very much and please see the uh, video for the assignment to know what you should do in order to go to the next lesson